In this first part, we will look at how to open the different programming tools that are available in the ProRealTime platform. Three different types of programming tools are available within ProRealTime. ProBuilder lets you create your own technical indicators by programming. ProScreener lets you create market scans either by programming or with the assisted creation wizard. And ProBackTest lets you create trading strategies using programming or the assisted creation wizard. The ProRealTime platform can either be launched from the ProRealTime software website, which is just ProRealTime.com, or the ProRealTime trading website, trading.ProRealTime.com. To open the programming interface, from any chart, click the Add Indicator button here. And then under Indicators, we can just click New to create a new indicator. This will open up the programming window which will let us create our own indicators with ProBuilder. Now I'm going to go over the different sections that are available within this programming window. Right here you can give a name to your program. I sometimes use the pound sign in order to make this program appear first in my list of new programs and then I'll just give it a name for example my indicator by clicking on this button here you can enter a description of your indicator for example the purpose of the indicator situations it applies to securities or instruments it works best with and any other useful information you might want to include this help text will appear next to the indicator in the list of indicators when you're looking at that list So this section up here actually lets us add variables to our code. We'll go over that in a future video. The tools here will actually let us interact with the code in several interesting ways. Um, right here we have standard cut, copy, and paste tools. The blue arrows here are just for undo and redo. So for example, if you enter some code, say, a equals average 20 periods applied to the close and you want to undo the last action you did you can just click the undo button here and if you want to redo something you can just click redo here and the same thing if you deleted a whole line of text for example you could use undo here the magnifying glass here is a find and replace tool. So for example, if you click this, it opens up the find tool and you can just enter in something you want to look for. For example, close. If you click next, it will find the next occurrence of that and you can replace it with something else. For example, replace with open, click replace or replace all and then you can close this by just clicking on the little X here. The tool right here is to comment code. So if you select a piece of code and you don't want it to be taken into account by the program, you want it to remain in the program as a comment, you can just click the comment button here and this will be commented out. Or you can click again to remove the commenting. The tools here are to make the text of the programming interface either larger or smaller and you may want to adjust these settings to your liking. The light bulb here is a little suggestion tool. For example, if you're not quite sure you don't exactly remember the name of an instruction, you could enter it partially and push the suggestion button. For example, we could enter here B equals and say I wanted to make that an exponential moving average I just enter exp because I think the instruction starts like that then I click here on suggestion and it actually suggests me the exponential average function with a little description next to it and I can just click on that to add that directly to my code right next to that is the function library which is another way to find functions in pro real time Let's enter here C equals and then we'll search for a function with the function library. 
So here you can search functions by categories such as constants, operators, keywords, or even indicators. Or you can use the search tool here. For example, if we want to look for the median price, we can just type in median and we find the median price function and also some other indicators that reference the median price in them. We could just click add to actually add this to our program and there the function median price has been added. The question mark here will send you to the help website with some more information about programming and the printer button will print your code. Once you are finished with your program, you can click this button to add it to your chart and tick this box if you want to keep the window open. Your indicator will also be saved automatically when you add it to the chart or you can save it by closing the window. Let's look now at the other programming interfaces that are available. To open up back tests or trading strategies, just click this button again. Click back testing and automatic trading here and then click new. With this wizard, you can either create a program by clicking on the chart by defining your long, short, and money management conditions, or create a trading system via programming. A pro screener market scan interface is also available here. You can change the market scan by clicking here to one of the existing ones or click here and then click new to create a new market scan. Like the backtesting and trading strategies, you can create these with a wizard by defining your conditions by clicking on the chart or create a screener by programming. This was an introduction to the different programming tools that are available within Pro Real Time. The rest of the training program will focus on the indicator creation interface. And in the further videos, we will learn how to actually use that interface to create our own programs.